see her being told what to buy, what to eat, and what to wear, smiling at her parents, screaming on the inside. And are her Facebook friends her real friends, or are her real friends her Facebook friends? Did you know there's a disorder where people have an aversion to the words tender and moist? She has that. See the teenager at 2 a.m., alone in her bedroom, Googling herself and finding zero matching results. What can she do to enhance her online reputation? Start a blog? Post a comment? Do something stupid on her webcam and put it on YouTube for the whole world to see? Did you know there's a school in Baltimore that banned hugging between boys and girls in the hallways? Did you know that Woody Allen has never sent nor received an email? We must have new forms or Anton Chekhov in 1895, and all this has happened before, and all this will happen again, bro, whoever writes Battlestar Galactica in 2008. Think about it. See the teenager. See her working so hard, maybe too hard, to not let adolescents get in the way. One week ago, today, I think the internet is like changing everything. What do you mean? I mean, it's like, okay, so you're up really late with some friends over at your house, and when you start singing this song, and then all of you start singing it, and none of you can stop singing. And then it's like, guys, who sang that song? And then it's like, OMG, WTF is that song, right? So you're all thinking, and nobody can come up with it, and it's making you totes cray cray. And then when he goes, guys, I totes know who knows who sang that song, I'll call Amy, she'll totes know. So you call Amy, and it's totes late, and she's in Phoenix now, which is two hours behind, but it's still totes late. And you two haven't talked in like a year. But then she picks up the phone, and she's like, oh, MG, and you're like, oh, MG! And she's like, you're so crazy, and you're like, we say cray cray now, and she's like, you're so cray cray, and you're like, I know. And you ask her, and she's like, dirt, it's the Proclaimers. And you're like, oh, MG, of course, the Proclaimers. And she's like, BT Dubs, I totes wanted them to be on voice and they were popular. And you're like, slut, and she's like, Lolar Blades, and you're like, we say Lolar Palooza now. And you say how good it was to catch up, and you hang up, and you're about to go tell your friends, and they're all like, oh, MG, we heard, it's the Proclaimers. And you're all like, and I would walk 500 miles. But today that would never happen. Today you would just Google the song and find out who it is, and you would never call Amy and catch up. And you would never be so cray cray. I think, I guess what I'm trying to say, Johnny, is we need to break up. Jenny, come in here. Do you know what this is? Looks like a bell. Oh, don't be smart. Someone has just charged a large sum of money on my credit card to a website called SaveDarfour.com. That was generous of them. It's not generous. It's not. No, it's ungenerous. It is. Yes, because whoever did it, did it without my permission. Don't you care about the people in Darfur? Of course I care about the people in Darfur. The people in Darfur are not the point. What is the point? The point is, this is a very large sum of money. People are dying. I'm dying. You're not dying. You're killing me. Don't be so dramatic, Dad. Dramatic? You want to know what's dramatic? My daughter charging $10,000 on my credit card without my permission is dramatic. Please, you're rich, you can spare it. That's it. You're not allowed to use the internet anymore. It's not the internet's fault. Really? Then whose fault is it? You want to know whose fault it is, Dad? Oh, don't start. I'll tell you whose fault it is. Don't start! It's George W. Bush's fault. Oh, Jenny. You don't think George W. Bush was responsible for creating a sense of apathy and disobedience in America's youth? No, I don't. After September 11th, George W. Bush had the opportunity to galvanize the young people of America, and he squandered it. He could have told us to ration our food, save our nickels and dimes, and donate them to Doctors Without Borders. He could have encouraged us to pay attention in science class so that we might grow up to solve this country's energy crisis. He could have encouraged us to learn Spanish or Chinese or even Arabic so that we might be better global citizens. He could have made us feel like we had a stake in our own country's future. Instead, he treated us like spoiled little children and told us to go shopping and to go out and spend money on Broadway and restaurants while he took care of the world's evildoers. He fostered such a general sense of apathy and disobedience among us that some of us had to go out and charge $10,000 to our father's credit card to save Darfur. That's it! I'm sending you away. Away where? But you know where. No, not there. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can't! It's for your own good. No! It's the only way you'll learn. Learn what? You know what. Learn what? You've given me no choice. Learn what? Learn what? 
Did you know more than 45% of Americans between the ages of 18 and 24 spend three or more hours online every day? Did you know that 11% of Americans are willing to get their email via a chip implanted in their heads? Parents, is your child dropping from exhaustion from playing too many hours of online video games? Do you think your child may be addicted to surfing the web? Is the internet interfering with your child's interpersonal relationships? If so, the Frontier Internet Rescue Camp is here to help. The Frontier Internet Rescue Camp offers a comprehensive program guaranteed to cure your kid of web obsession, including obstacle course training, group counseling, hiking, biking, horseback riding, yoga, comparative literature, lacrosse, and the global sport of cricket. These activities all focus on building your kid's emotional connections to the real world, not the virtual one. For more information, go to our website at www. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. There is no access to the internet here at Frontier. In addition, your kid will not be allowed to watch television, listen to an MP3 player, play video games, or talk or text on a cell phone. Frontier is located on a ranch in the high country deep in Colorado's Rocky Mountains. There are no means of communication with the outside world, so if you wish to enroll your son or daughter and you live in Denver, please drop them off at the corner of Larimer and 14th Street. If you live in Colorado Springs, the corner of Garden of the Gods Road and 125, and if you live in Boulder, the corner of Broadway and Pearl, and a Subaru Outback will come for them the first Friday of each month. Over 9 million young Americans may currently be at risk for web obsession. Can you afford to take that risk with your precious little one? Do you want some clickbait? Ooh, I gotta check it out. Check it Look out. at that place piano. Can you believe that? Check it out. OMG, you gotta see this little boy. It's his father in the nuts with a wiffle ball bat. You've got an important email from the line an important email from a Nigerian prince. He just wants someone he can trust. How he get my name? Who click here? What if Jesus had a Facebook page? Click here. Ten websites that could save your life. Click. Which Twilight character are you? Click. Which Harry Potter character? Click. Aren't you just a little bit Ooh. curious? Hats and meat. Dot com. Made of me. Awful plastic surgery. Dot com. Bad life choices. Furniture porn. Dot com. Just but they look so dirty. Ooh. Add three inches to your manhood, Jenny. Uh, Add three inches to your manhood, Jenny. Find hot singles in your neighborhood. Ooh, uh, That's right. We know where you live. From home, never be alone. Wonder whose side is stalking you. This album remedy can keep you cancer free. Doctors hate him. Gotta click, click, click. I gotta cut, cut, click. I think it's making me sick with every click. Oh my god, Look what happened to I dare you not to laugh. This life hack is genius. I've got ten reasons to click right now. Number seven will shock you. But what happens next will blow your mind. Internet Rescue Camp. Where? It's all right. Who are you? My name is Lucy. I'm a lemming. A what? Just like you. I am not a lemming. You are now. My head hurts. They put you through the gauntlet. You'll be disoriented for a few hours. What's the gauntlet? We don't know, but we know it's the first thing that happens to us when we get here. You'll how? be disoriented for a few hours. How did I get here? None of us know how we got here. The last thing I remember is... Having an argument with your parents? Yes. That's the last thing we all remember. What's your name? Jenny. We should go to sleep now, Jenny. It's after lights out. We don't want to get in trouble. In trouble with who? Fox and Bobcat. A fox and a bobcat? Not a fox and a bobcat, just fox and bobcat. Who are they? The ones who will be mad if they find us talking after lights out. But please, Jenny, just go to sleep. 
There was a boy. We shouldn't be talking. There was a boy with me in the gauntlet. You remember that? Yes. There's a new boy who came in here today. I think his name is Johnny. Johnny. Go to sleep. But I have questions. Please, Jenny, I don't want to get in trouble. Just go to sleep now. Hey. Hey. You must be the new kid. Must be? Do you know where you are right now? Yeah, this is the Frontier Internet Rescue Camp, right? How does he know that? How do you know that? Because that's where I came last night. How does he remember that? How do you remember that? He must be the one. <laughs> what? The prophecy says that one day, a kid will come here who remembers how he got here, and he will be the one to lead us all to freedom. Freedom, freedom. Really? No, I just made that up. <laughs> My name's Johnny. I'm Tally. Nice to meet you, Tally. Welcome to hell, Johnny. Thanks. <laughs> this is Skippy. Hey. Hey. So, what are you in for? Uh, apparently I Google things too much. What? That's what my ex-girlfriend said. Seriously? Yeah. Chicks, man. Oh, she broke up with me at a Fear concert. I love the Fear. Shut up, dude. Sorry. Yeah. So what are you guys in for? I got caught skipping school so I could t attend a 72-hour Dungeon Runner 4 tournament. What's Dungeon Runner 4? It's an MMORPG, a massive multiplayer online role-playing game, like StarCraft. I thought since you play it with less than eight people, StarCraft didn't technically qualify as being massive. <laughs> That's what she said! <laughs> what are you in for? Two of the greatest words in the English language. Peanut and butter? Internet and porn. <laughs> got it. So. This is Frontier, huh? I thought this place was just a joke. It's no joke, Kimosabe. Are you guys really addicted to the internet? Yes. No. Did you know that there are only three internet rescue schools in the whole world? No. There's Frontier, there's the one in New York City, and there's the Jump Up Internet Rescue School in South Korea. We play them in lacrosse sometimes. Oh, I play lacrosse. Oh yeah? What position do you play? Attack. The Lemmings need an attackman. And a team captain. I don't want to be team captain, I just want to play. Why don't, why don't you want to be team captain? I'm tired of being team captain. All right. The Lemmings? That's our team name. All right. We are known as Rocky Mountain High. Because of the altitude? No, because we smoke a lot of- Got it. <laughs> so, how long has this place been around? Ever since Al Gore invented the internet? Well, technically, Al Gore didn't invent the internet. In 1991, Congress passed the High Performance Computing Act. Also known as the Gore Act, this legally cleared the way for a totally privatized, commercialized internet which could evolve and thrive outside the grip of the federal government. Thank you, Skippy. You're welcome, Tally. <laughs> so, what do we actually do here? Well, in the mornings we have PE with Bobcat, and tomorrow afternoon we have yoga with Fox. Bobcat and Fox? Yeah, the counselors here all have animal names. It's so that we can build an emotional connection to the, the real, real world, world instead of the virtual, virtual one. one. Got it. <laughs> it's not all bad here, though. The girls sometimes join us for yoga. There are other girls here. Oh yes, young grasshopper. Oh yes. <laughs> Who's that? That's Johnny. He's hot. Who's that? That's Emily. <laughs> She's hot. <laughs> Who's that? That's Jenny. She's hot. What? <laughs> no, I... How are you today, Fox? What's Emily in for? Her parents sent her here. She has the world's record for the most amount of Facebook friends. Whoa, how'd she do that? Lots of pictures of herself in her bra and panties. Whoa. And bikinis. Whoa. And saran wrap. Okay, we should probably get started. Now for the two new kids, my name is Fox, and this is Bobcat, and we are your counselors here at Frontier. And we have a saying here, there are no incurable diseases, only incurable people. I thought leukemia and Alzheimer's and HIV were on Oh, oh, Let's get started, please. Everyone get in place. Oh. Hi, Emily. Hi. Hi, Bobcat. Hi. Hi, Jenny. Hi. Hi, Johnny. Yeah, hi. Yeah. Let's start with sun salutation. Uh, uh, hi, Susie. Hi, Skippy. Hi, Tally. I am so baked right now. No talking, please. Stand in mountain pose. Inhale. Arms above your head, exhale, swan dive into standing forward bend, inhale, flat back, and exhale, inhale, come up, and exhale. iPod Oracle in the bathroom tonight, pass it on. What? iPod Oracle in the bathroom tonight, after lights out, pass it on. Inhale, arms above your head, 
Exhale, swan dive into standing forward bend. I pod oracle in the bathroom tonight after lights out. Pass it on. Inhale, flat back. And exhale, step back to downward dog. I pod oracle in the bathroom tonight after lights out. Pass it on. And inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Ugh. I pod oracle in the bathroom tonight after lights out. Pass it on. Inhale, upward dog. I pod oracle in the bathroom tonight after lights out. Pass it on. Exhale, downward dog. I pod oracle in the bathroom tonight after lights out. Pass it on. Inhale, exhale. What's I pod oracle? Jump to standing forward bend. I don't know. Inhale, come up. It's when you ask the iPod a question and then hit shuffle songs and see what the answer says. And exhale, mountain pose. Oh, cool. No talking, please. And inhale, <laughs> exhale. Are you wearing makeup? What? No. You are? No, I'm not. Are you trying to impress someone? I don't know. Is it Tally? I don't know. Are you trying to impress him? I don't know. You don't know? Yes. Yes, you don't know, or yes, it's Tally? Yes. Are you trying to impress her? I don't know. <sighs> okay, the only way I'm playing this game tonight is if no one asks any questions about me. I can't guarantee that, Emily, anyone can ask any question they want. I don't want anyone asking any sexual questions yeah, about me. Because you're so popular and you've had so much, so so much sex and everyone wants to know it. so Hell much yeah. about you. Hell yes! Why don't you go have Spock beam you up somewhere? Okay, and you do not <laughs> Spock who is beaming up, it's Scotty. And B, I don't watch Star Trek, I watch Doctor Who. We've been over this like a million times. Shut up! You shut up! Woo! <laughs> Hi, Skippy. Okay, let's get started. Sure. Let's go. Come on, let's get the drummer going. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, I thought iPods were prohibited here. Shh. They are. My brother smuggled this in for me in a batch of brownies. It's usually how I get my. Got it. Oh, it's it's okay, okay, okay. I'll ask you the first question. What is the meaning of life? Oh. Good question. iPod says running to stand still by you too. You too oh. sucks. Shh. Okay, okay, okay. Will two people in this room end up making out tonight? <laughs> oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes. iPod says a little less conversation. Oh, 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 Shut up, Emily. Will two people in this room end up finding each other tonight? What does that mean? Oh, iPod says ain't got so far to go by David Byrne. Who is oh, David Byrne? Everybody's question. No. How long do we have to stay here? Oh, okay. iPod says tears by the stone throat. <laughs> oh, that's so accurate. Oh, that's so accurate. Tears by Who the stone Who runs road. this place? That's a good question. I know, right? iPod says the fear by the fear. I love the fear. I used to love the fear. You don't love the fear anymore? I kind of hate the fear now. Why? It's a long story. <laughs> Oh, I don't have any questions. Oh what? My God. You don't. No, no, no. 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 You're not, not curious up. about oh anything. Oh this my game God. is stupid. Oh my God, I have a question. Hand me the iPod, I have a question. Why is Emily such an asshat? <laughs> iPod says the ballad of the girl who by the fear. Remember Karen Black from back in high school She always seemed too good for everyone We'd write anonymous notes filled with obscenities Then slip them in her locker just for fun She never spurned the or the burnouts. She earned their trust by always acting nice. She thought she could ignore our pecking order. And so we had to make her pay the price. She was the girl who thought she was above us. The girl who never learned the dance. She was the girl who tried to go her own way. The girl who never stood a chance. That weekend that 
she showed up at our party. Yeah, and broke an unspoken law. We laughed and had to throw her out just on principle, but made sure that everybody saw she was a girl who thought she was above us. The girl. did you end up here? I charged $10,000 to my father's credit card to save Darfur.com. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. It was pretty awesome. Hey, thanks for taking care of me the other night. Well, you're not alone. That's what Lucy Tillet would say. Who? Lucy Tillet. She's this blogger. She writes these really awesome blogs on the train every morning on her way to some fancy private school. Or at least she used to. She disappeared a few months ago. People have been looking all over the internet for her. I never knew if anybody read my blogs. What? That's me. What's you? I'm Lucy Tillet. What? Are you serious? Yes. But you're... Tillet is just a pen name. Oh! I didn't think anybody read my writing. I love your writing! Really? Yeah! So do lots of other people. Really? You're like totally famous. This is so awesome. You're awesome! I can't believe I'm sharing a room with Lucy Tillette! Wait, is that why you're here? 
my school busted me for skipping class and uploading one of my blogs in the girls' bathroom. Then my parents sent me here. They sent you here because of that? Yeah. You're like an artist! Well, I haven't written anything since I got here. I can't write with pencil and paper. I need a keyboard. You don't belong here. None of us belong here. No, but you really don't belong here. We've got to get you out of here. Yeah, right. I'm serious. How? I don't know. We'd have to think of something. I mean, this place is so weird. Is there a head counselor or warden or something? I don't know. How did Fox and Bobcat get to be counselors? I don't know. Has anybody tried to break out of here before? I don't know. Why not? We're afraid of the dungeon. This does not sound like the Lucy to let I know. You don't know me, Jenny. No, but I know that your blogs have given me hope and have inspired me and have made me feel like I'm not alone. Writing something anonymously and putting it on the internet is very different than actually doing something in real life. I have trouble talking to people. Like Tally. Tally doesn't even know I exist. You have to make her know you exist. How? We can start by asking her to help us break out of this place. She won't. She's afraid of the dungeon too. Why are you also afraid of the dungeon? Well, A, it's called the dungeon. Well, Emily's there right now, and I know she's kind of an asshat, but we'll never break out of here unless we band together and help each other out. I'll talk to Johnny. Maybe he can help us. Maybe. Why, Johnny, do you like him? Maybe. Maybe you're hoping that he likes you too. Maybe. But I'll never know unless I try. Besides, how bad can the dungeon be? Yesterday. And we're going to be playing a pre-approved playlist of rockin' jams! Now, this is an experiment. It's a privilege. And if you abuse this privilege, it will be taken away from you. Dudes! Dudes. Why do they keep calling us dudes? We think this dance is going to be the bomb. Yes! Alright, so, go on horseback riding, go with Fox, and you're playing lacrosse, come with me. Peace out, Cub Scouts. Come in, Jenny. Where's Emily? Emily's fine. When is she coming out of the dungeon? Don't worry about it. I am worrying about it. I'd like to go play lacrosse. I wasn't talking to you, dude. Oh. Come on, Jenny. I don't want to play lacrosse with you. I want to go horseback riding with Fox. Oh, well, that's cool. That's cool. Cool beans. <laughs> hey, Johnny. Hey, Jenny. This place is weird. Yeah. You don't remember me, do you? What do you mean? The gauntlet. Oh. That was you. Yeah. That was, uh, pretty intense, huh? Yeah. So, what did you do to get up here? Oh, 
I Google things too much. How about you? I charged $10,000 to my father's credit card to save Darfur.com. Why'd you do that? I don't know, just rebelling? That's a lot of money. He can spare it. My dad's rich. That's not really the point, is it? Whose side are you on? I don't know. I just met you. You don't have to be weird about Am it. Am I being weird about it? Yeah, you're being weird. It just seems like if you really wanted to rebel, you would have used your own money, not your parents. What are you, the expert on rebelling? I'm just saying. What are you just Forget saying? Forget it. What? Forget it. Fine. Fine. You know, I think I made a mistake. About SaveDarfur.com? No, I thought I could talk to you. We are talking. Aren't we talking? What's your problem? I kind of want to go play lacrosse. Fine. Go play lacrosse then. You know, I thought you were Team Captain Material. I don't want to be Team Captain. Don't worry, you're definitely not Team Captain. No. <sighs> Why do I have these feelings for Jenny? <laughs> My elephant by the fear. My elephant, my my elephant. My elephant, my my elephant. There's a great big elephant that follows me around, but no one else can see her cause she never makes a sound. She's with me all the time cause she lives inside my head Oh, how I wish she'd go and bother someone else instead She drives me to distraction with her perfect wrinkled snout This massive little mammoth is all I think about I've been to see two therapists and one Tibetan monk But none of them can help me when I think about her trunk My elephant, my, my elephant really She comes again to dance around my head. She stops on all my thoughts till nothing else is left. I guess I gotta face it, yeah, I'm completely effed. My elephant, my, my elephant. She's eating all my peanuts. My elephant, my, my elephant. You know she's making me nuts. My elephant, my, my elephant. You make me all believe. My elephant, my, my elephant. Again, it's my elephant. Here she comes again. Here she comes again. Here she comes again. It's my elephant. Here she comes again. Here she comes again. Here she comes again. It's my elephant. Here she comes again. Here she comes again. Here she comes again. It's my elephant. One more time. Her stop. My elephant, my my elephant. She takes me by her tusk. My elephant, my my elephant. Now I'm just an empty husk. My elephant, my my elephant. She's got me mystified. My elephant, my my elephant. Oh, how I love to ride. <laughs> this place is weird. Want to share. Yes, Susie. I wrote, I love Doctor Who 20 times. 
I wrote, I hate BBC America 20 times because A, they don't broadcast in HD, and B, in England, Doctor Who's presented without commercial interruption, and BBC America has commercials that they always edit at really inappropriate times, and they cut out some of the original show so that they can fit it into a 42-minute format. And then I wrote, I'm inspired by the technology of the TARDIS 20 times, which is the Doctor's time-traveling ship and stands for time and relative dimensions in space. Let's move on to something else. I have a question. What is it? Where's Emily? Emily is fine. When is she coming back? <laughs> Emily will be rejoining us later. Let's talk about the book report. I have a question about that too. Yes. We're supposed to read any book ever written and write a report on it. Yes. Any book ever. Yes, Jenny. What's your question? I just disagree with the premise. Teenagers who read novels score higher on their SATs than those who spend time on the internet. Yeah, but you can't say that the internet is all bad and that all books are good. Not, all books are good. Mein Kampf is a book. <coughs> yeah, oh, oh, I disagree yeah. with the premise too. All right, that's enough. Jenny, cut it out. Cut what out? Don't be smart. I thought you wanted us to be smart. Oh, oh. Jesus Christ, super snap. Tally, stop it. Jenny, that's enough. We've got our eyes on you. Bobcat definitely has his eyes on her. Listen, all of you. I don't like the attitude around here ever since Jenny showed up. What did I do? You know what you've done. I really don't. You're a troublemaker. Hey, dudes, let's all welcome. Welcome, Emily, back. Welcome back, back. Emily. Go sit down with your friends, Emily. Awesome. Hey, Jenny. Hey. I have a question about the book report. What is it, Lucy? It's kind of a book. Can I do mine on Abraham Lincoln's 1860 campaign speech? That sounds like an awesome idea, Lucy. What? Maybe I can help you. We can have a study date. Sure. Okay. Why does Emily sound like she's in an ass hat? Hey, hey, Emily, are you okay? I'm awesome. Who wants to go outside and pick flowers in nature? Whoa. What did you do to her? We didn't do anything to her. What <laughs> happens in the dungeon? Nothing happens in the dungeon. It's just a place where you can reflect on your life choices. The dungeon has helped to show me the error of my ways. I don't even know why they call it a dungeon. It's awesome. It's like they reprogrammed her or something. Yes. yes. Of course we didn't reprogram her. There are no computers here. You've done something to her. Jenny, Jenny what? Why don't we just call it a day? Let's all go hiking. Emily. Biking. Emily. Kayaking. Emily. The internet is so stupid, you guys. Logging on to the internet is such a waste of time. Um, technically, it's not the internet you log on to. It's the World Wide Web. Yeah. yeah. Emily. Jenny, Jenny, what? Why don't we just call it a day? See you with the dance tonight, Jenny. Bobcat. I'm coming. Bobcat. I'm talking to Jenny. Bobcat. Everybody check your head! Jenny? No. Please? Why do you want to dance with me? Because I feel bad about yesterday. So it's a pity dance. No. What is it with us? There's an us. I'd really like to dance with you, Jenny. Is that the truth? George Washington truth. You say George Washington truth? It's something my family has always said. Mine too. Whoa. We are destined to be together. Susie? Yeah, Skippy? Can I tell you something? Yeah. If we weren't at this camp right now, I would totally go home and download all the new Doctor Who episodes so I could watch them and talk to you about them. Why would you do that? Because I like you, Susie. What did I say? Can I ask you something? Sure. Do you think you're addicted to the internet? No. Neither am I. Neither are any of us here. Well, Skippy is. Yeah, Skippy is, but the rest of us aren't. 
Did you know that Lucy is Lucy Tillette? The blogger? Yeah, you read her blogs? Totally. Did you read the one called You're Not Alone? Yes. Did it totally change your life? Yes. Mine too. We are destined to be together. Don't you think we need to do something about this? Like, like get married. No, like get Lucy out of this place. We should all get out of this place. What do you mean? We should break out of here. Break out? Yeah. <laughs> no way. Why not? We just got here. I'm serious. Have you met Bobcat and Fox? They're kind of high strung. I'm serious, Johnny. How would we do it? I don't know. We'd have to think of something. I kind of like it here. Be serious. We actually have a pretty decent lacrosse team. Be serious, Johnny. I am being serious. What's your problem? What? Don't you care about anything? Internet addiction. And, and we sent her home with some new hiking boots and a parka. But she wasn't addicted to the internet in the first place. She was just an asshat. Okay! Who has a book report they'd like to share? <clears throat> Skippy! Susie! Anybody! I have my report on Abraham Lincoln's 1860 campaign speech. Awesome, Lucy, please come up here. Can I just read it from here? No, no, come up. Go ahead, Lucy. All creation.
creation is a mine and every man a miner. In the beginning, the mine was unopened and the miners stood naked and knowledgeless upon it. Fishes, birds, and beasts are not miners, but feeders and lodgers merely. Man is not the only animal who labors, but he's the only one who improves his workmanship. This improvement he effects by discoveries and inventions. Abraham Lincoln wrote these words of the campaign trail in 1860, extolling the virtue of American discovery and invention. And not only American, but young American. Mm. We have all heard of young America, Lincoln says. He is the most current youth of the age. Some think him conceited and arrogant, but has he not reason to entertain a rather extensive opinion of himself? Is he not the owner and inventor of the present and sole hope of the future? Lincoln stated that young America's horror is of all that is old, particularly old fogey. But I caution my fellow young Americans not to be too horrified by old fogey. Where would we be without old fogies? The father of all fogies is Adam, who, when he discovered he was naked in the Garden of Eden, improved his situation by inventing the fig leaf apron to cover himself with, thus inventing the art of invention. Likewise, I caution old fogey not to come down too hard on young America. Thank you. Don't you know that the way we communicate with each other has just like totally evolved like over time? Don't you know that every single generation is suspicious of its antecedent? And don't you know that each one is not better than the other, just different? Yes. I'm 17 years old, and I prefer listening to jazz records and hip hop MP3s. Oh, I but I also prefer writing with a keyboard to writing with pencil and paper. So young America's coexistence with old fogey is a give and a take. It's a little of this and a little of that. It's a shuffle. David Bowie wrote, I want the young American in 1974, and then he wrote, I'm afraid of Americans in 1997. We have to be smart, my fellow young Americans. We are the hope of the future. Yeah. And it's up to us to take that responsibility seriously yes. and to not abuse it. Mm. Or else we might end up in an internet rescue camp Whoa. run by robots. Oh! 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 This camp is not, so not so run by robots. Oh, yeah. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Bob Anyone Bob? else have a book report oh, they'd like to Why share? What happened to him? Yeah. Let's move on to some. Is Bobcat a robot? Jin Shin. Jitsu. <laughs> Some what? Jinshin Jitsu is a form of shiatsu massage that uses 26 different pressure points or energy locks on the body. Why are you ignoring me? Jennings. The release of energy by touching one of these pressure points. Yeah, I want to know if he's a robot too. Yeah, me too. Tally, get up here, please. You have a right to know. Tally, yeah. get up here now. to demonstrate Jin Shinjutsu by touching Tally's knives. I don't want you to touch my knives. It won't hurt. I'm just going to gently put pressure on your knives. <laughs> I don't want my knives touched. You don't even know what your knives are. I don't care. I still don't want them touched. You can touch my knives, Fox. What? I don't want to touch your knives. I want to touch Tally's knives. I don't want my knives touched. Please don't touch my knives. Tally doesn't want her knives touched. You stay out of this. Where's Bob? Not now. We have stop lying to us. We have a right to know where yeah. Bobcat is and whether or not she's a robot and whether or not you're a robot. Yeah, yeah. and if so, who programs you yeah. and who runs this place and why we're here and how did you cure Emily? Yeah! And when we're all gonna get out of this place. Uh huh. That's it, Jenny. You're going to the dungeon. Jenny! Jenny! <gasps> It breaks my heart 
Cause you don't see what you mean to me. You are my torment and my only relief. Yeah, you're the cure and the cause of my grief. And I'm afraid to lose. And so I choose the mean version of you. What you might say, you do what's right. Yeah, you'd be polite. And so I'll keep them safely hidden from view. So I can keep on spending time with you. I must admit that I can't quit. The mean version of you The mean version of you And when you smile I'm in agony Because I wish that it was meant for me I did? You've been acting a little strange lately. I have. Yes. <clears throat> Fox? Yes? Can I ask you a question? Uh, of course, anything. I know that we're both Tired. robots. Oh. <laughs> but I want to ask you something about Camp? love. Oh. <laughs> do you think it, it's possible that, do you think a robot could, could ever? Love? Yeah. I, I do, Bob, can I really do? I feel. What? I don't know, I just feel. I, I didn't think robots were supposed to feel. <laughs> Neither did I. I'm experiencing emotion? I'm experiencing emotion too. I think I'm in love with- Just say it, Bucket, just say it! Jenny! Jenny? I know, I know, I feel really weird about the whole human-robot thing, but I mean, I can't help it. I, I, we were programmed to behave as humanly as- I think I'm in love with her. You, th you think you're in love with her? Yes! There, I said it. You, you, you think you're in love with her? Yes! You think you're in love with her? Fox. <laughs> you think you're in love with her? 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 Jenny. <laughs> what happened? Fox threw you against the wall. Where's Jenny? Fox threw her to the dungeon. Is she okay? I don't know. Fox is a robot too. I know. We have to do something. What do we do, Johnny? Johnny! What? We need the team captain. Be our team captain. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Skippy, have you solved Dungeon Runner 4? Yeah. I need you to figure out a way to get me into the dungeon. Got it. And I need you and Susie to figure out a way to reprogram the robots. Got it. Tally, I'm gonna need another iPod. I got a whole stack. Shit. Good. Everyone know what they're doing? 
All right, go Lemmings on three. One, two, three, go, go Lemmings! Lemmings! Hey, Johnny? <laughs> yeah, Tally? How do you talk to girls? What? You've had girlfriends before, right? Yeah. How do you talk to them? You just talk. Yeah, but like, what do you say? Tally, talking to girls is just like talking to anyone. It is? Yeah, except aren't girls like more sensitive and irrational and they cry more? <laughs> right. So, do you think I should get gangs? What? Do you think I should get gangs? What are gangs? You know, like, gay bangs? Do I think you should get gay bangs? Gangs. I don't know. No. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Uh, Tally? Yeah? I gotta go. Right! Uh, do you think I can get an iPod from you? Right. Okay. Thanks! Oh, and uh, good luck talking to Lucy. Right. Can I talk to you about something? About what, Tally? iPod says, bad slash better by the fear. What? <laughs> something that you want, there's no reason to deny it. Why not try it? It could be good to try a thing that secretly might scare you. So I dare you. My mind says no, but my heart says go. Oh, this is bad. Slash better than anything. This is wrong. Slash you're so bad. This is everything my mother ever warned me about. Well, she clearly didn't know what she was talking about. Cause this is fun. Slash kind of terrifying. This is no. Are those gangs? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Uh, hi, Susie. Hi, Skippy. Uh, uh, I... Sorry, go ahead. No, you go ahead. Uh, I... Sorry. S Susie? S Skippy, I'm sorry I ran away from you at the dance. It's okay. I can't I... have sex while I'm here. Uh, my therapist tells me I have a problem with false intimacy. Uh... Yeah, the reason I'm here is because last year was the year of my tramp page. Your trampage? My trampy Tramp rampage. I would chat with random boys on the internet and then we would always end up having sex and I would always end up regretting it. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know exactly what you mean. Um, I've been having a way too much sex lately myself. 
It's like, a, oh, enough is enough, you know? I mean, uh, how much sex can one guy have? You've never had sex, have you? No. It's okay. I like that. You do? Yes. You're a complicated woman, aren't you? Can you handle it? Susie, there's something I have to tell you about my heart. What is it? It's bigger on the inside. Is that a Doctor Who reference? Can you handle it? I can handle it. So, the reason I came here is, you know how Bobcat is a robot? Yeah. Johnny wants us to figure out a way to reprogram him. Okay. I think we can make use of the iPod somehow. Okay, yes. Um, there's an episode in series two of Doctor Who where all the Cybermen are controlled by a cell phone company. We can use the iPod, we can use the iPod to control him. Do we have a dock connector? I think so. The iPod is running Unix. The 30-pin dock connector is configured for output. We can use the dock connector to be disguised as outputting only audio, but hide a reprogramming signal in the output directly to the robot's operating system as long as it's Unix compatible. Um... Did I just out-nerd you? <laughs> yes. Can you handle it? Susie, it's nice to be with you here in Meat Space. Where? Meat Space. It's the opposite of cyberspace. M-E-A-T space. That's my favorite fear song. One, two. It's a swim P3. It plays music, but underwater. Is that something that I need? This is something that you need. Oh, 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 I don't think so, because I've got a meat space. That's the place where we are. Here. How? First, put these on. 
I'm not here because I Google things too much. My girlfriend broke up with me at a fear concert and blamed it on Google, but that's not why I'm here. My parents don't even know I'm here. I'm here because I checked myself in. Why did you do that? I just got tired of everything. The pressure, girls' school, dating, grades, oh, being captain of the lacrosse team. I just wanted to get away from it all. So you came here? Yeah. That's weird. Is it weirder than charging $10,000 to your parents' credit card? No. But the thing is, when I got here, I still became the team captain, and I still ended up liking this girl, so... It doesn't matter who or what I'm surrounded by or what pressures I'm under, I still am who I am. And you're not alone. And I'm sorry if I've been weird about trying to escape from this place, but... It's because now that I've found you, I don't want to leave, or... If I do leave, I want you to come with me, because... I like you, Jenny. I like you too, Johnny. And I want to break out of here. Is that the truth? Yeah. George Washington truth. This place is run by robots. That's weird. That is weird. Put the earphones back on. Somebody. What is going on here? Johnny! Jenny, is that another iPod? No. Put it down. Make me put it down and step away from the iPod. I think you're gonna have to come over here and make me do... Johnny, what are you doing? What are you guys doing? We're uploading cheesy love songs from the 80s to a CPU. He's gonna automatically fall in love with the first thing he sees. Uh, Fox! Something's wrong with Bobcat! Bobcat, are you alright? Oh, I just died in your arms tonight. What? I'll stop the world and melt with you. <laughs> you will. Pour some sugar on me. 
Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> you like to think you're immune to this stuff. Oh, yeah, it's closer to the truth to say you can't get enough. You know you're going to have to face it. You're addicted to love. <laughs> <laughs> Bobcat! I just called to say, I love you. I love you too, Bobcat. I've always loved you. Uh, Whoa! Oh. Whoa! I can't fight this feeling anymore. I've forgotten what I started fighting for. What's up with Bobcat? It's time to bring this ship into the shore and throw away the oars forever. Technology conquers technology! Love conquers all. Love lifts us up where we belong! What about this place? We took care of Bobcat and Fox, but what about whoever was controlling them? I mean, they're robots. Someone had to program them, right? I want to blog about this place. I want to expose the hypocrisy of an internet rescue team being run by robots. Maybe this will help. <gasps> I had my brother smuggle this in for you in a batch of brownies. Why would you do that? Because... <laughs> We've still got to break out of this place! Bobcat, how do we get out of here? Close your eyes. Give me your hand. Darling, do you feel my heart beating? To understand. Forget them. We are not going to get any answers out of them. Wait, remember when we were playing iPod Oracle and I asked who runs this place? Yeah. It said the fear. I thought you said oh. you didn't like the fear. It's not about liking the fear or not liking the fear. Yeah. It's about facing the fear. It's about yeah. not being afraid yeah. of the fear. Yeah. Yeah. We're not afraid. We can just leave. Yeah. yeah. Who's going to stop us? Yeah. Hey guys, Emily just posted something on Facebook. What is it? You're not alone. Looks like her reprogrammer didn't stick. Yes. I still want to find out who runs this place. Does it matter? Yes. Why? Because. Let it go, Jenny. Let's just be happy now that we found each other. But don't you want to know who really runs this place? No, I just want to get out of here with you. But stop trying to figure everything out, Jenny. It's good for us to have questions. We don't always have to have answers. Stop trying to solve everything. We can't solve everything. We're just teenagers. Guys, Susie and I found something when we were looking for tools to reprogram the iPod. What? We found some comments in the source code. Dear Larry, do you prefer G-O-O-G -O -O or G-G-L for our IPO? Also, be sure the investment prospectus includes the motto, Don't, Don't be evil! Google! That's it! They designed a camp run by the robots who work for them that parents would send their kids to, thinking it would cure them of internet addiction, when really all they wanted to do was sell their... Google! Corporations! A giant corporation is behind all of this! Google! <sighs> it's Mr. Page! Give me that! I'm gonna tell them what they can do with their search engine. Don't be still, we need to get out of here. This could be our way out. Hello? Yes, this is Fox. Everything is fine here. How are you? Actually, we're about to all go on a hipster scooter ride around camp after an afternoon of gourmet lunch and ping pong to keep things fun in this constant hive of activity and innovation to keep the campers Creative juice is flowing. Can you unlock the doors, please? Okay. Awesome. Okay. Bye. That was easy. Yes. yes. I still want to expose them. We can't take them along, Jenny. The people who try to control us. The forces that try to tell us what to wear, how to act, and how to be. All we can do is point out hypocrisy whenever we spot it, question everything, and choose our battles wisely. We are young America. And we are the sole hope of the future. Yeah! yeah. What she said. <laughs> this is now. For us. Who? Everyone, parents, counselors, robots, they won't understand what we've done. Let them come. We should split up for a while until we know it's safe. I don't want to be without you, Johnny. Oh, I don't want to be without you either, Jenny. How will we find each other? I'm on Facebook. Poke me. I will poke. Poking to light their path.
Thank you all so much for coming. Um, we just want to take a moment, as it's our last show, to thank some of the people uh, who didn't bow at the end, but who were vital contributions to the show. Um, and we're just going to get the flowers set up. Thank you for coming. <laughs> um, we hope you guys had as much fun as we did. Um, Thomas, you want to go first? Okay. So I am here to thank the backstage crew for all their hard work. I don't know if you noticed all these lovely people coming out in the Fear shirts, um, but that's them. Uh, Natalie, Tamia, and Anjali over on stage, right? Yeah! <laughs> okay. Um, Next, we would like to thank the onstage deck crew. So that's Nia, Lorelai, Dahlia, and Eva. Thank you guys so much. You guys are amazing. We could not do it without you. Seriously, you guys are the best. Get your flowers. Okay, next we would like to thank our props people. If you haven't noticed, there are a lot of little props, like the iPods, we have like 10 and they're always going missing. So we really want to thank these people for helping us through this. So Saskia and Logan, if you guys could please come up on stage. Thank you guys so much. Next, we'd like to thank our amazing wardrobes and makeup supervisor, who's incredibly nice and talented and who's also able to do eyeliner in 20 seconds in the dark. So thank you, Jonavi. Next is the projection operator. So if you guys see that, that has been changing throughout the show. Each one of those images had to be programmed. And the operator for those programs is Penelope. So let's give it a hand for Penelope. So um, during the show, if you haven't noticed, there are a lot of spotlights going on during songs, during scenes. And we just like to give a thanks to the spotlight operators. So Harrison, Sasha, and Ari. Big shout out to them. Okay, I don't know. 
But next, we have our master electricians, our co-light board operators, some of the kindest and nicest people we have, Charlotte and Jax, please. Thank you. Okay, next we have the sound and projection assistant, Gabriel. You can come on down. Um, now we're just gonna thank our computer sound operator. I don't know if you can see her back there, Savannah. Come on, give it up for Savannah. Let's go Savannah, she's, she's getting here. <laughs> And, uh, hi. Um, our soundboard operator, Lorelai, so, hi. Okay, so we're gonna wanna give a big round of applause for these amazing people up on stage, all members of the FEAR. That is Ben, Danny, Lucas, Vinny, and Rocky! This show would really not be the show without them. They really made this show come to life, so give a round of applause for them. Woo! Hello. Okay, so next is our very own Will Havens, who... done so much. He was the haze operator and then that became a thing. And then became the t-shirt designer and our plant and everything else we could think of and he's very special to us and especially to me. So thank you. Next we'd like to thank our amazing costume designer, the wonderful Margo Morris. <laughs> Um, next, we'd just like to thank the person who designed all these wonderful productions that you saw up here throughout the show, um, Izzy. Woo! Let's give a shout out to Izzy. So next, we'd like to thank our brilliant sound technicians. I don't know if you guys were listening during the dungeon scene, but that never fails to freak me out, honestly. And that's all, thank all thanks to them, Daniel and Rocky. Yeah, Rocky! Yeah, Rocky. Yeah, Rocky. Okay, so we would also like to thank our assistant stage managers, jo Sophia and Julia. They have been with us every step of the way, from auditions to now, everything, and it has been so amazing to work with them. They are responsible for, like, the entire thing. So thank you all. Next, we would like to thank someone whose job I do know. I promise, he may not think I know his job, but uh, stage manager, Ben. Thank you so much, we appreciate you. And I'm here to thank my dear, dear friend, Eliza Kelly. She is our assistant director, and she has also been with us since day one. And we all love, love, love her so, so much. And she's been just great through everything. A shoulder to cry on everything, and I hope we can be uh, as good friends to you as you are to us. I love you. Yeah. 
And of course, we have an amazing set designed by Emmy Finkel. So a, a big round of applause. Okay, we would also really love, <laughs> love to thank for all these amazing, for all the amazing lighting designs, Deb, and also filling in, Sam. So let's head yeah. 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 We'd also like to thank our sound designer and technical director who manages everything that's going on around here, Danny. Yeah. Next, we'd like to thank someone who's been so important to this production and has been so helpful and supportive to everyone involved. Someone who truly, if he was not here, the show would not work. So thank you, Derry. Derry! Okay, uh, and William Norman for designing, I'm uh, sorry, for writing all of the music and choreo choreographing all of this. And last but not least, even though we know she hates getting up on the stage, where would we be without our amazing and wonderful director, Claire Matola? Thank you so much for all that you've done for us, both in rehearsal, on stage, and off stage. Love you so much. Believe it or not, that's it. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a good night. Something that I need This is something that you need Oh, 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 I don't think so Because I've got some deep space That's the place where we are Some deep space That's the place where we are My life brings me to strange But my life brings me to change Keyboard. Makes sense. Is that something I should see? Something you should see. Oh, 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 I don't think so because I live in a meat space. That's the place where we are. A meat space. That's the place where we are. My left brain is really strange, but my right brain is even trained on you.